baseball races. Our first stop is the National League East. The Cards went into the day with a four-and-a-half game lead over the Mets, a magic number of five, a seven-game winning streak, and a doubleheader slated against the Expos. They close out the day with a split, a four-game lead, and the magic number is now four. In the opener, the Expos playing the spoiler. Bill Gullickson with a strong eight-inning performance. He was staked to an early one-nothing lead. And then Andre Dawson facing Joaquin Andohar doubled that 1-0 lead with one swing of the bat. This guy is hot, but for Montreal, it's too little too late. His seventh homer in seven games, by the way. It was Mr. Reardon who came on in the ninth, worked out of a two-out, two-on jam. That is save number 37, and the Expos are sitting prettier in the opener. Montreal takes it by a final score of two to nothing, but the second game, it goes to St. Louis. The Cards gain the split, and just by winning, they drop the magic number for clinching from five to four. All the Mets can do is hope for a St. Louis collapse, and they have to keep on winning themselves. They win Saturday against the Pirates. George Foster at the plate. He's got it off the end of the bat, but it's definitely deep enough. His 20th home of the season. The Mets have got themselves a one nothing lead. And they extend that to 2-0 when Mookie Wilson comes up with a sack fly, but watch Rafael Santana. A little lackadaisical on the play. Almost out at home, but it's good enough to score. Then in the ninth with the bases loaded, two outs, 3-1 to one Mets. Jesse Orozco. What a sinker that was. In the dirt, R.J. Reynolds went for it. And the Mets have got themselves the 3-1 to one victory in there. No doubt about it, the wind blowing out at Wrigley. Say and Moreland with two homers apiece. So quickly, let's go to the National League East standing, see what we've got. We've got the Cardinals staring at a magic number of four. In the West, Los Angeles on top, and they take San Francisco 3-1. to one. Jerry Royce picks up the win. The Reds, they're not out of it yet. Winners over Houston, and what a day for Tom Browning and Buddy Bell, who gets a three-run homer for Cincinnati to cap off a four-run third inning. But the man of the hour was Tom Browning, the first rookie in 31 years to chalk up 20 wins. He didn't go the distance. Ted Power had to come on and get his 26th save, but Browning worked a good, strong seven and a third. Said he got tired, so he let Power come on and do the job. This is the final out of the game. It's one that Mr. Browning will remember for some time. He becomes the first Red to win 20 games since 1970, and Cincinnati is really still alive. We'll check the standings in just a minute. One more other score to give you. In 13, San Diego takes Atlanta. So those standings in the West, you've got L.A. on top, Cincinnati is back. The Dodgers looking at that magic number of four. The California Angels and the Kansas City Royals remain deadlocked in the American League West Senate race. Both were losers on Saturday. First off, it was the Minnesota Twins taking it to Kansas City 5-3. to three. The Twins with their third straight victory. And Jerry Willard had a two-run homer in the ninth inning leading Cleveland past California 7-5. to five. Two other scores from the West. Oakland defeated Chicago 7-4, to four, and Texas and Seattle just playing out the string. The standings in the uh, American League West, California and Kansas City with identical 86 and 68 records. Uh, down the stretch, they both have eight games left, but the key here, folks, is all of California's games are on the road, while Kansas City has but one road game left in those eight. Now, in the American League East, Toronto defeated Milwaukee 6-1. to one. George Bell pounded out four hits in that one. You see the magic number is reduced to four. What that means is any combination of four Toronto wins or four Yankee losses and the Jays have the flag. Uh, New York got a two-run rally in the ninth to defeat Baltimore six to five while Boston shut out Detroit two zip. In the American League East, Toronto does have a six-game bulge now. 97 to 57, the Blue Jays mark 90 and 62 for the Yanks and I got a feeling it is just a little too late for Billy Martin and company. And not to rag anybody, absolutely no, uh, nothing, uh, no harm intended on this, but for, uh, the Sporting News came out with their latest issue, and they had the Mets and the Yankees, the battle for the Big Apple. It looked like that was an article that came out, I guess, uh, one week too late. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> They're running out of time. I think Coming so. up on CNN.